Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, children of Zion, children of the Most High. You are all blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Praise the Lord God Almighty. Our Lord is good. He's a miracle God. He's a miracle working God. Praise the Lord, somebody. You are all blessed in Jesus' name. Happy weekend to you all. Happy blessing weekend to you all. May the Lord God Almighty bless you all in the name of Jesus. Our Lord is good. Our Lord is a great God. We are serving a miracle God, the God of science and wonder, the incomprehensible God, the God of choosing. Hallelujah, somebody. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Welcome back to the part two of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who died because of our sin our lord and our personal lord and savior he died because of our sin after three days he resurrected gay he sits the right hand of god the father in heaven he is the prince of peace the almighty god the wonderful god the everlasting father the wonderful god hallelujah somebody if you accept Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior. I want to hear you shout a big hallelujah. I accept him as my Lord and my personal Savior. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. You are all blessed in Jesus' name. As you can see, my name is Holiness. God bless you all. I want to use this opportunity to thank those that have been watching my video, all my lovely fans out there. I say, may the God of choosing bless you all in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Those who have been watching my video, you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. As you do so, God bless you. As you are watching my video, even if you have not subscribed, I say, may the Lord God Almighty bless you all in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Before we start, let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I worship you. I glorify your name. I thank you for this wonderful day, this wonderful hour. I praise your holy name because there's no one like you. You are the King of Ken, the Lord of all. Thank you for giving us life to live. Thank you for your wonderful, for your battle, for your goodness and mercy upon our life. Lord, we say thank you. We cover our, I cover my body, my soul, everyone watching me with the blood of Jesus. Father, I want to use this opportunity to ask for mercy and forgiveness of sin. Daddy, in any way, in any manner, in any area, past and present life, we have sinned against you. Daddy, I ask for mercy and forgiveness of sin. Forgive us our sin, forgive us our iniquity, wash us with your blood, cleanse us with your blood, purify us with your blood. Give us power to sin no more in the name of Jesus. Come into our life of flesh, be our Lord, be our personal Savior. Thank you, Father, for forgiving us our sin. Give us power to sin no more, give us your grace to follow, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our transgression, all our iniquity, all our sin. Thank you, Father. For prayer and sight. Cover this prayer, every one of us, with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. You are all blessed in Jesus' name. Our Lord is good. Hallelujah. I want to use this opportunity to introduce our church here in France to you all, all my fans out here. This is our hand be the Lord choosing church. Hallelujah, somebody. This is our hand be the, the Lord choosing church. We have it in France here. Yeah? We have it in Pierre Fitte Gap, Paris. I am inviting you all to the Lord choosing church you, where you will have your salvation, where you will have hear the word of God. The word you have not heard before. 
when they are talking about salvation, holiness, righteousness, the kingdom of God, if you want to hear them, come to the Lord choosing when you hear them. Nobody will tell you to decide to serve God. Nobody will tell you to serve God. Nobody will tell you to pray to God so that you will have your salvation. You are the one that, that will decide on your own. I am inviting you all. I pray that God will give us the appetite to serve him, to come together in the Lord choosing to serve this, our Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. As you do so, God bless you. I will leave my phone number on this video. You can call me anytime because as a Christian, you need salvation. You need to live a life that please God. Don't live a life that please you or the world or your friends or your family. But the life that pleasing God, that is the kind of life you will live. Hallelujah, somebody. As you do so, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The part one of this video, we read in the book of Matthew 24. We stop at verse 12. Hallelujah. We are going to start from verse 12. Matthew 24, verse 12. Hallelujah, somebody. Let us read Matthew 24, verse 12. I read in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, And because of iniquity shall abide, the love of many shall was cold. Hallelujah, somebody. Because of iniquity, the love of many shall was cold. What is the meaning of iniquity? Or the love of many shall was cold. Hallelujah, somebody. We all know that there are many false prophets in this our generation, most especially in this end time. Because Jesus is coming back very soon. Hallelujah. The Bible is telling us, it says, because of iniquity, the love of many shall was cold. Hallelujah. Those big pastors, you are hearing their name everywhere. They have followers. 20,000 people follow them. 40,000. 100,000 follow them, follow us. Nobody know where they got their power they are using. The Bible is telling us, it said, because of their iniquity, because of the fake power they are using to deliver people, to heal people, to pray for people. He said, in the last day, the love of many shall was cold because of their iniquity. They will become useless in the presence of God. They will become nothing. They will have no value in the presence of God. You see those people you are clapping hand with. You seek for miracle. Those fake prophets, fake pastor. He said many of many, many of their love shall was cold in the last day. You see, in the in our generation today. If you don't have followers, no one will watch you. Then we feel that you are not serving God. You are just doing it on your own. People, people in our generation today, they love those pastors, those prophets, ministers of God that have followers. Like when you when you when you write their name in YouTube or Facebook, you will just see 100 followers, 50 followers. They think that. There is something there. But my dear brothers and sisters, you don't know the power they are using. You don't know if God is there. When you hear the truth about the word of God, you will just run because you don't want to obey. My dear brothers and sisters, the Bible is telling us, it said because of their iniquity, their love in the, in the day of judgment shall was good. Then we become nothing in the presence of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ will tell them, work out, I know you not. They will be explaining, remember, I deliver people, I pray for people, I heal people, I bless people. But Jesus will deny them that day. Because the power they are using is not from God. They use fake power to perform like Christ. They use power to heal people like Christ. But the power they are using... It is not from God. 
their love and everything they do in this world shall be useless. Hallelujah, somebody. So, my dear brothers and sisters, beware of what you are doing. Beware of pastor and prophet, ministers of God you are following. Because when you enter social media today, most especially Facebook and YouTube, you will see thousands of people following one pastor. They feel that there is something there. It's good to follow people. It's good to follow prophets, to pray, to do all those things. Before you do, before you follow anyone, like pastor, ministers of God, prophet, my dear brothers and sisters, beware, pray hard. If this person is using real power, if, if God is there in their midst, because there are many, then they work with the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah, somebody. The Bible is telling us, it says, men, because of iniquity, the love of many shall wash good. Jesus Christ, in the last day, Jesus will deny them. In the last day, the day of judgment, God will send them to hell fire because they walk with the kingdom of darkness. They are not walking with the power of God. God will deny them that day. My dear brothers and sisters, in any pastor or prophet ministers of God you are following, without preaching the kingdom of God for you, run for your dear life. Because when Jesus was in this world, he preached about the kingdom of God. He preached about the commandment of God. He was telling us what we will do to inherit the kingdom of God. Remember, prophet, remember those prophets, those prophesy vision will not take you to heaven. The only thing that will take you to heaven is your salvation. Salvation is your passport to heaven. I know prayer help. We need to be Bible said pray without ceasing. Yes, but remember the things, the commandments of God that you will obey and make heaven because Jesus is coming very soon. Beware of fake prophet and fake pastor. Fake ministers of God. People are clapping hand. People are clapping. Hey, this man have power. He can heal. He can deliver. Yes, we know Jesus do the same. He heal the sick. He heal the, 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 the blind. They, see, they receive their sight. But the same time Jesus was preaching about the kingdom of God. If you read your Bible in the book of Matthew, Matthew 6, verse 33, the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all that things shall be added unto you. Don't seek only prayer alone. Don't seek only prophecy. Don't seek for vision. At the same time, seek for the kingdom of God. Because after this word, we are going to end it with our Lord Jesus Christ. We will sit with him in the right hand of God the Father. Are you preparing for that? Hallelujah, somebody. I pray that God will help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As you hear this message today, my dear brothers and sisters, beware of fake prophets. Beware of fake pastors. Beware of people you are following here and there. You think they have many followers. They are, the, they are Christ. Beware. If someone is not telling you about the kingdom of God, beware. Beware, my dear brothers and sisters. I pray as we hear this message today, God will give us the appetite to obey in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I worship you. I glorify your name. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. I thank you, O Lord, because there is no one like you. You are the King of kings, the Lord of Lords. Father, give us power to obey and to do the things that please you. As we hear this word today, O oh Lord, let us be the hearer and the doer of your word. Thank you, Father, for making us to hear this great message. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Watch, wait for me for part three of this video. Hallelujah, somebody. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Amen.